Hello guys, welcome to the 12th tutorial on learning PIC microcontrollers with MPLABX and X8 compiler. So in this tutorial we will learn how to use servo motors with our PIC microcontrollers. We will use a potentiometer to read its ADC value and then convert that ADC value into its corresponding position on a servo motor. So this is our previous tutorial where we learned how to generate PWM signals with MPLABX and X8 compiler. Now let's get into the hardware section. So here it is. Here I have a potentiometer and a servo motor. So this potentiometer will generate a variable voltage of 0 to 5 volt which will be read by this PIC microcontroller and that 0 to 5 volt will be converted to its corresponding position on the servo motor. So let me turn on the power supply and show you how it is working. So the servo motor is getting aligned to a position where the potentiometer is currently placed. Now let me vary the potentiometer. Since I have turned it left side, the potentiometer also moves to the left. Sorry, the servo motor also moves to the left side for the amount of degree I have turned on the potentiometer. So now, once the potentiometer stopped, it will be locked at that particular position. So how much of a pressure I apply on its shaft, we won't be able to move it because the potentiometer is currently sending the values to the servo motor to asking it to maintain its current position. So let's go ahead and turn it again. Now I have turned it in anti-clockwise direction again. So the motor is also rotating in anti-clockwise direction. It has stopped. Now let me turn it in clockwise direction. The motor also rotates in clockwise direction. Okay, now let's get into the programming section. In order to understand this program, we should have already learned the timer and the ADC module. If you are completely new to this tutorial, please go and learn the timer and ADC modules because only then we will be able to understand this program. So here in this program, we have used the ADC module to read the analog voltage from a potentiometer and convert that analog voltage into a PWM duty cycle using the timer module. So now let's start with the void main. So here it is. In void main, as usual, we, we start with pin declaration. So first we declare that RB0 is used to control this uh, control this servo motor. So we declare that RB0 port is used as an output. And then uh, we are reading an analog voltage. So the analog the port K is declared as input. Now, um, like in our ADC tutorial, we have initialized the ADC module. And here, we have initialized the timer module. The difference here is, in our timer tutorial, we would have initialized it to get overflowed for every one millisecond but here we are using it to be overflowed for every one microsecond because here the PWM frequency is 20 milliseconds so inside the while loop what we'll do is we'll keep reading the analog voltage inside the port from the port and store it into the variable called port value and based on this port value we'll vary the on time of the servo motor so here's the timer timer uh, interrupt uh, function and what we do here is uh, we get the value of the ADC from the potentiometer and we store it into this on time. So what happens is we can vary the on time based on the value that we read from the potentiometer and this off time will be calculated automatically because we have defined that the total period of our PWM signal should be 20 milliseconds. So here RB0 will be turned on for the amount of on time that we feed in using the potentiometer and RB0 will be turned off automatically because we have set the frequency of our PWM signal to be 50 hertz or 20 milliseconds. Now let us simulate this in Proteus. Okay, here is our simulation diagram. As you can see, this is a servo motor and it is hooked up to the pin RB0 where we are using the timer module to generate the PWM signal and we have a potentiometer here which uh, sends a variable voltage of 0 to 5 volt to this microcontroller. Now let's start the simulation. So here is our oscilloscope. We have some PWM signals which are already generated. Excuse me. Yeah. We have some PWM signals which are already generated. Let's have it over here. Now, as you can see, the motor is currently at 90 degree. So every servo motors or most of the servo motors have a rotating angle of 0 to 180 degree. In this simulation, it will be shown from plus 90 degree to minus 90 degree. So the potentiometer is at 100 percentage. Let us decrease it. 
so as we decrease the value of the potentiometer the adc value gets changed and the on time gets changed so here we can notice that the on time is getting changed but the frequency of the speed emitting signal will be maintained so let us decrease it all the way to 0 degree Oops, i have exceeded it okay here we are and then let's go back to minus 90 degree you can also see that the pwm's frequency sorry the duty cycle is getting varied based on the potentiometer's value so that's it guys thank you So you can keep experimenting with various duty cycles and see the corresponding position where the servo motor is locked. For example, for 70% of the ADC value, we are getting the servo motor to be locked at 39.2 degrees. So you can use this and feed in your ADC values to lock your servo motor in whichever position you want. So, so that's it guys. This way we can interface a servo motor with a big microcontroller and you can control the angle of that servo motor using a potentiometer or any other variable that you have already defined inside the program. But using a potentiometer will help you a lot because you can directly control this angle of the servo motor in real time once the project is done. So go ahead and try your own ideas like you can build a robotic arm or you can build an RC car. The creativity is up to you. So, and that's it for this tutorial. Thank you.